Quick warning before the tutorial starts. God of War, at least at the time of me making this video, is very unstable. Making full-fledged games with it is out of the question, as in its current state it can easily crash and potentially even damage your system. If you still want to try it out, then just follow my instructions. First step is to install the latest version of Python. To download Python, you need to go to python.org. I have left a link in the description to the website. Press the download button and select the latest version under the All Releases category. After it is done downloading, just open the executable and the following window should pop up. There are two options, Install Now and Customize Installation. They are pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you turn on Add Python to Path. This will create a reference to your Python installation in your system path. Leave the rest of the settings to their default values. Press Next and turn on Install for all users. Then press Install. Wait for the setup to finish installing Python, then, after it's done, press Close. The next step is to download the Godot source code. I have left a link to the GitHub page in the description. To download the code, just press the green Code or Clone button and select Download Zip. After Godot has finished downloading, navigate to where you saved the zip file and extract it. After it is done extracting, delete the zip file in the Python installer and open the Godot master folder. When inside the Godot master folder, click on the navigation bar at the top, write CMD and press Enter. This will open up a command prompt window. Next, write python -m pip that is p i p install scons that is s c o n s and press Enter. If you get an error saying that your version of pip is out of date, don't panic. Scons will still be correctly installed, however, it is still recommended that you upgrade pip. Python provides instructions on how to do that in the error itself. Just copy them into the command prompt and press enter. After you are done, just write scons, that is S-C-O-N-S, dash J and the number of course that you have, and press enter. Depending on how powerful your system is, this step can take up to 30 minutes. In my case, I only had to wait about 15 minutes before it was done. Now, after the build process is done, you can technically just open the bin folder inside the Godot master folder, and run the executable. However, if you got any error like this one during the previous step, then it means that you don't have all the libraries that Godot requires to work, which might make the program unstable and even prevent it from opening. In order to fix this, you will need to download and install Visual Studio Community version 2017. I have left a link to Microsoft's download page in the description below. After it is done downloading, run the installer and this window should pop up. Wait for it to finish downloading and a new window should open. Here, just turn on everything that I do and press install. That is .NET Desktop Development, Universal Windows Platform Development, Desktop Development with C++, Game Development with C++, Mobile Development with C++, and Linux Development with C++. This will also take a long time, depending on your internet speed, as you will need to download about 4 GB, which will get extracted to 16. After it is done downloading, a window will pop up asking you to sign in, but you can ignore it. The next and final step is to build Godot again. Just go into Godot Master and open the bin folder and delete everything inside it. Go back to Godot Master, click on the navigation bar, type CMD and press Enter. Now type scans-j and the number of cores that you have and press Enter one more time. This time, the build process should only take half a minute, since most of the Godot libraries except one or two are already compiled.
After you are done, you can open the bin folder and run the Godot executable. If you still get errors or have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Again, Godot 4 is unfinished and making full-fledged games in it, at least at the time of me making this video, won't work at all. When I tested it earlier, it crashed constantly and there are very many rendering, scripting, instancing and performance problems. You can see here that I didn't even manage to get full screen to work and the very small scene with the looping day-night animation has problems with the lighting and is laggy. Also, the risk of damaging your system is just not worth it. And it would be way better if you wait for Godot to at least become more stable if you can't wait for the release. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, like, subscribe, leave a comment and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next video.